guys welcome back to the tutorial in this video i want to show you how you can connect na10 with graph api in order for you to post to facebook automatically or using na10 so let's get started so the first thing that you need to do is for you to uh, get to developers it is developers.facebook.com and slash apps this is going to take you to the apps dashboard. Um, when you're first starting out or when you reach the, uh, let's say the, the, the homepage for this, uh, there is a section here that says my apps. And I'm hoping this shows up when you've logged in uh, to developers.facebook.com. So when you go under my apps section, you can see these are the applications that I have created and if you have not created an application before uh, you go here uh, create an app and give it the app name so you can name the you can give it any name but I will show you why it is important to give it a name that makes sense at the very end so in my case I'm going to call it um, let's say um, N8N, N8N bot. Let's just say that. I'll, I'll, I'll show you why. So I'm going to go to next. And then here you have to go to looking for something else. Go to other. Click next. Choose business here. Click next. And here you can go ahead and create the application. Um, here it wants me to add my password. All right. So once you have added your password and it has created the application, it will take you uh, to this page. The next step is for you to make your application live. And this is very important for you uh, to use your code or your authentication code in NA10. The application has to be live. So I'm going to click here. And it's going to tell me that I need to add a privacy policy. So to do that, you need to go to app settings, click basic. And under here, you need to add your privacy policy. I am just going to use any link, but you can add a specific privacy policy that you want. So I'm going to save the changes. Once I've done that, I can make my application live so we are done with the first steps you will also see other people doing this or other people adding applications to um okay so this is my mine um and you will see people adding products to this application but for the reasons that we want to use this for uh, there's no need for you to add any product to this but then the next step that you have to do is go to Graph API Explorer. So we are going here just because we want to create a token that we're going to use in N8N. Right here, you need to choose the application name. In our case, it's N8N bot. After doing that, you need to add permissions. So since we want to post to Facebook, there are a number of permissions that we need. The most important one is the manage post. So you have to go under events, groups, and pages, and then go on pages, manage post. With that, you'll be able to post to Facebook. Once I've done that, I need to generate access token. This will also require me to authenticate again. Continue as my name. Here you can select the pages that you need. For test purposes, I am using this page. So I'm going to continue here. And you can see here, you can create, manage content on your page, uh, read content post, posted on the page, show a list of pages you manage. So basically, this is 111 because I've selected one page. Once I've done that, I can go ahead and test this. So I'm going to submit this. And you can see here uh, when we have provided the node of me and these parameters, we can get 
are the name of my Facebook account. All right. Another thing that you can try to do uh, is once you go there, you can see, you can go under accounts. If you learn this, you should be able to see this. And because I am only managing one page with this, you, I can only see that page. All right. So this is working. But then this token expires, I think, in an hour. Uh, it may not be useful for us. But then I'll show you at the very end how you can also extend the uh, lifetime of this access token. So with that, let's copy this and go back to NA10. I'm going to open my newly created workflow. I'm going to add the first trigger node. So it's, I'm going to trigger this manually. And then after this, I'm going to add the Facebook Graph API node. So this one. All right. Here, I need to add the token. So I'm going to click this. Let's delete this for now. All right. Delete it. And then I'm going to create a new credential. Add the access token. Save it. You should see this credentials successfully created, but also you should also see this green um, text saying connection tested successfully. I will cross this. Once I've done that, I can go to this and then choose what I want to do. So for test, for test purposes, so for test purposes, the first request is going to be a get request. Here, I'm going to use the latest version. The node that I'm going to use is me. And then here, I can do the same. I can say accounts. All right. I'll use that edge. Execute the step. And then you can see the same thing that I saw in my Graph API Explorer has appeared in our NA10 node. So that means the connection is successful. Everything is working. So let's go to the last step, posting on Facebook. So then the, the thing that you need to do is leave everything the same, but here you need to use feed. This will post a text version of the post. With this, you cannot include the image. I'll talk about including an image in another tutorial. But now here, what you can do is you can add a query parameter. And then the name should be message. And then I'll say hello. This is a test post. All right. And I'm going to execute this step. It says the node has executed successfully. All right, but remember this has to be a post request. So I need to change here to post, try to execute this. So here it's saying forbidden, perhaps check your credentials. But if you remember very well, we are using the correct credentials. So what I've observed here is that when you go to the graph API and you use this node or this access token this gives you to the general uh, accounts details and all that but if you want to post to a specific page then you have to get the access token for that page or maybe i think you need maybe to add further permissions but i think this is what is working for me if i have further knowledge i think i'm going to uh, communicate as well but get the token for that specific page go back and then right here i'm going to paste this save testing right it looks like it's working and then once i've done that i can execute the step again and it has posted so if i go to facebook
and then I go to the page that I'm looking for, which is this one. You can see that this is the post that I've just posted. And now when I was saying that you need to name your application, something that uh, makes sense, you can see here it says published by N8N bot. All right. So that's why you need to give it a name that makes sense. I've also seen on my mobile, this doesn't show, but I don't know why it shows on my desktop screens. I'm using an Android phone. So maybe I don't know what happens on iPhone. But yeah, when you're using your laptops, this will show. Or when you're using, I think, a device that is uh, that has the larger screen, this should show. So basically, that's how you connect to Facebook. I also create another video where I'm talking about now how you can start automating uh, your boring tactics uh, of posting to Facebook. Maybe we can use an LLM model to create this post automatically. For this video, that's all I wanted to talk about. So look out for the other video where I'm going to talk about how you can now post an image together with uh, this text post. If that sounds great, uh, see you in another video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you have any questions leave a comment in the section in the comment section below and i will be sure to reply thanks again bye bye